Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Welcome to this Stateless Code video. In this video, we are going to upgrade Sublime Text from version 3 to version 4 in Ubuntu. So back in 2021, I recorded a video of installing Sublime Text 3 in Ubuntu. And in that video, I accidentally installed version 4. I can show you kind of the review, the click path, but you can um, look for the, the title search on the channel, install Sublime Text 3 on Ubuntu, and it will go through that process. So right now I've got the user preferences here, set to update, check false. Um, if you have been running three and you don't have update check to false, it will try to update you to four. Um, and I did this on my Mac and the update check just installed it and uh, upgraded to four with kind of so seamlessly that it didn't warrant a video. But uh, with Ubuntu, you've got the version four has um, an Ubuntu repository version three does not. And so we installed version three using a, a .deb file um, using apt in that video. And so now we're going to see what that upgrade process looks like. I haven't tried this uh, before. So if we run into errors, they may be the errors that you'd run into and we'll work through them together. The first thing I'm going to do is go from false to true on the update check. And I'm going to quit Sublime Text, relaunch it, launchers on the other screen. And so is the window here. So um, new version is available, download now. Download takes you to let me get it to the looks like it's the same yeah Sublime Text download. Uh, so before with version three, this is the version that we installed here, and uh, we're going to un, uh, try to upgrade this to version three. The first thing I'm going to do is I've purchased a new license with Sublime and it says that the old the old license gets essentially um, inactivated right away. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is um, go to help, uh, just verify that we are running Sublime Text 3 version uh, build 3211. Um, and then we're going to remove license, which will revert to a unregistered state and then enter license. And I'll paste this in and click use license. Obviously I'll pause and not do this on screen, but once you get your version four license, it will still work for version three, but you'll wanna paste that in before you do the upgrade. So I'll pause and do that. All right, so I'm back and I entered the license, clicked use license, and this is where it got to is the thanks for purchasing with the okay here. And now we're going to attempt to upgrade this. And my first preference for this is going to be using the, um, the Linux repo for this. So we're going to click on Linux repos and we're going to try to follow this process. And we'll see whether it just installs over the other one and upgrades and works seamlessly or if I need to, uh, where, whether it fails and I need to uninstall it or whatever. Uh, so we're gonna get a terminal here onto the screen and we're going to Copy this, control shift V here. And then we're going to 
I'm going to use the stable channel here. I'm going to exit out of Sublime Text, which I should have done right from the beginning here. Close all running instances of it. Now we're going to try sudo apt update. And see if Sublime is one of the things saying that I can update it. Sublime text upgradable from 32.11. So this is um, looking promising here. So we're going to I'm just going to look at all my upgradable packages here. Um, that's not an implementation detail for this video, so I will um, pause, look at them, and then um, we'll come back and see if this works. All right, I'm back on. There's nothing especially sensitive here um, other than YouTube now knows that I have Samba installed on, my, um, on this machine. So we are going to do apt full upgrade Y. And that looked fairly innocuous. We will try to launch Sublime. See if I can get this on to the other screen. I'm going to pause and get it on the other screen. All right, so I've got my error over here. So one of the packages I had was incompatible TypeScript. I don't use TypeScript a lot, so I don't care. But if you um, are looking here, information about um, syncing package control things across packages. I'll just try, it's probably a situation where I just need to redo package control install package and do TypeScript for Sublime Text 4. So I'm um, okay with that, I'll hit okay. We also have a change log that has, I think everything that has changed between uh, build 32.11 and build 41.69, which is the current latest stable build in March of 2024 when I'm recording this video. So we can exit out of that. We can look at the help here. Um, we've got the um, indication that it's build 41.69. Um, we will try a Let's switch project. It's been a while since I've used package control. Let's go to anything. Install package. So that was me. Control Shift P here on Linux. Install package.
So I'll go with the 2024 version here. Successfully installed and it's available. So uh, if you had more packages, you would want to um, go and take a look at them. If they were deal breaker packages that are broken, you could follow my instructions from the 2021 video, uninstall four, reinstall three. If you've purchased an upgraded license for three, you um, would still be, or a light upgraded license for four, you'd still be able to use it for version three when you reinstall it. And then you'd be, um, you could keep using three while you find a compatible replacement for whatever your deal breaker version three package is. So that I think resolves this on Ubuntu. Uh, I didn't have a version of this installed on Windows and then my Mac version was so easy that it didn't require a video. But we'll see you perhaps again for Sublime 5 on Linux, who knows. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out our other videos. We, um, in addition to these setup type videos, we have hundreds of coding videos dealing with Ruby on Rails, uh, kind of pure Ruby for um, a building of a Ruby gem. Uh, we deal with Salesforce development. So um, keep looking out for new videos and um, happy coding. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.